Good morning, swimmers. Coach Larry coming at you live this morning, Monday morning, from my car. Yes, we're going to be doing some one-to-one -one on the go over the next several months. So I wanted to reach out to everybody this, this morning with a couple of observations, and I'm calling this one the uh, what what we can learn or just learning from other sports. I think as young athletes or really any age athlete, one of the most important things that you can do is watch other sports, learn from other sports, watch the stories that take place from other sports, and try to internalize them and apply them to your own sport. And here specifically, I'm talking about your swimming. Okay, so most of uh, most of you guys, most of you swimmers out there are just now starting your long course season, or you may still be in between seasons. So it's a good time to reflect, good time to be thinking about things. So um, the thing that really struck me that I wanted to reach out about this morning was watching the Masters golf tournament and, and what we can learn from the Masters golf tournament over the weekend. There was a 37-year-old golfer from Spain named Sergio Garcia. He won the Masters over the weekend. It was uh, just a really cool, amazing win. Went into a sudden death playoff, and it was it was really cool. But there were several things as I reflected about the tournament itself, and as I watched Sergio win that tournament and all the things that he's had to overcome to win, and it has some really good lessons that you can apply to your to your own swimming. Um, first of all, I want I want to encourage you. If you ever had any struggles in your swimming, like achieving a, achieving a goal, uh, making a certain cut for a meet, uh, it took it took Sergio Garcia 73 tries to win his first major golf tournament. Now, winning a major is very different than winning just your average golf tournament. Nothing wrong with winning your average golf tournament, but winning a major is major, and it takes a lot of nerve. It's very nerve wracking. You've uh, You've got a lot more media attention, and the, the pressure is just really big. It's really high. So it took Sergio Garcia 73 tries. This guy's 37 years old. Okay, he never he had never won a major tournament until this weekend, and of all tournaments, to win his first major was Augusta, which is like the granddaddy of them all. So my message to you swimmers out there is: if there's a goal that's really important to you and you keep going after it and going after it and you you know you just can't seem to get there don't give up keep going it it will pay off and and there are even times you know Sergio talked about during his interviews he talked about how he was nervous have you guys ever been nervous um, you know as you're as you're approaching a race or as you're trying to achieve a goal uh, if, if you've ever been nervous you're not alone I mean some the, the greatest golfers in the world are nervous. The greatest swimmers in the world are nervous. Being nervous is okay. It's uh, it's your body's way of preparing for competition. It doesn't always feel good when you feel those butterflies in your stomach and you have that adrenaline pumping. Um, it doesn't always feel really good, but it is good. Okay, Sergio Garcia. He was nervous. He talked about uh, you know he was he was calmer. Uh, he said he was calmer on Sunday than he was on Saturday, but still. He was nervous, so it's okay to be nervous as you're going for your big goals. Again, there are times of self-doubt. In fact, Sergio Garcia said um, about five years ago, he said that he probably would never win a major because he had tried so many times. He's like, well, I just don't think it's in me. But he kept going. So it's okay to have those moments where you have some self-doubt, okay? But you've got to overcome those moments. It's, it's normal but you don't want to have a pity party. You don't want to stay in that place very long. Just know that even the best of the best athletes in the world, they do have those moments where they doubt themselves, but they overcome those moments. They keep going. They take action um, even when they don't feel like taking action. Okay? That's one of the secrets of success is to keep going even when you don't feel like it. Even when you feel like giving up, just take another step. Okay? If you miss your goal in swimming, Keep going. Go swim another practice. Go swim another lap. Just keep going. Okay. Um, lots of really good, lots of really good lessons there. And you know the other thing that added a lot of pressure to Sergio was there are a lot of guys like Jordan Spieth and Tiger Woods who 
they win majors very early in their careers, like at age 21. And here's Sergio, age 37. And, you know, some people might even say, wow, he's washed up. He's not going to do it. He's been trying for all these years. But he hung in there. And he kept going. And he kept practicing. And it eventually paid off. And it paid off big time yesterday with a win at the Masters. And one last, uh, one last thing. You know, you watch the Masters tournament and you see these guys sinking putts and the crowd is roaring and all this really great stuff. And, the, you know, he gets to wear the green jacket and the, uh, you know, the press is there and they're, they're taking pictures and all this stuff. But, you know, what you don't see, what you don't see is the thousands upon thousands of hours that Sergio Garcia spent on the driving range or on the putting green or chipping around a putting green. You just, you don't see that. What you, what you see is the glory moment, but the glory moment doesn't happen unless there are those thousands and thousands and thousands of moments practicing. And that's what I want to encourage you guys on, on your swimming. Keep practicing. Okay. Keep practicing. It's, it's when, when you, when practices get boring or you're really hurting and you're really tired in the middle of practice, take heart. You know, the, the best swimmers in the world go through the same thing. The best golfers in the world go through the same thing. The best athletes go through the same thing. It's the thousands upon thousands of hours spent practicing and practicing and practicing that will eventually pay off. Okay. I heard one of the commentators on the, uh, during the, during the master's tournament say for every shot hit out on the, um, on the course that day, there are a thousand practice shots. For every shot, there are a thousand practice shots. So for most of those guys, they've taken like a thousand more shots on a practice range than they have in a tournament. Okay, does that sound familiar to you swimmers? There's like a thousand, I mean, think about it. Some of you guys train for the 50 free or the 100 fly. How short those races are, less than 30 seconds or less than 50 seconds. And yet you train thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of hours for that very brief period of time. So you are in good company. It takes a lot of practice to prepare for when the spotlight is on. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think about a couple of, just a couple of quick examples. I think about Michael Phelps, um, one of his most famous races. And if you have never seen this race, you need to Google it, look it up on YouTube. It's the 2007 world championships when he swam the 200 freestyle. And his final turn is probably one of the most famous flip turns of all time because he absolutely crushes the field on that one turn. He wins the race because of his final turn in the 200 freestyle, not because of his swimming. Yes, he had to, he had to do well in his swimming, but, but it was his final turn. That's where he won the race. And everybody, you know, I mean, the world went crazy when they saw him do that turn. They're like, this, what an amazing turn. But you know what? He had done that turn thousands of times before, but nobody saw it except his teammates and his coaches. Over and over and over again, he would do a turn like that in practice when he was tired, when the chips were down, when he was sore, when, when he was bored. He would do that turn over and over and over again so that when the spotlight was on, he was able to execute. He was able to execute that turn and win the race and you know, people are like, wow, how did he do that? The way he did that was he practiced it thousands of times in practice. Or it also reminds me of um, Katie Ledecky's coach, Bruce Gemmel, um, or her coach uh, when, when uh, she, as she was training for the, for the Olympics, the uh, Rio Olympics last year. And he was asked, um, you know, were you surprised by Katie's performance? I mean, she just blew away the field in many of her races. And, you know, the world was like, wow, this is amazing. How does a girl do this? And it was funny because he said, you know what? Um, I wasn't really surprised. And, and he wasn't being overconfident. He wasn't being cocky or anything. He just said, he said, you know, I know the rest of the world was surprised when she swims like that. He said, but, but I'm not surprised because I see her do that in practice. That's the way she practices. And there's a real good lesson there because if you practice in a certain way, that's the way you will race. Okay, swimmers. So as you're getting, as you're getting ready for long course season, think about that. Picture the way that you want to swim in your swim meets. Picture it now. Okay. 
then you want to go and you want to practice that way. That's the way you want to practice. How do you want to do your turns in your swim meets? You got to do your turns and practice like that. How do you want to kick during your 100 freestyle race? You need to kick like that and practice. Remember, practice is a dress rehearsal. It's a dress rehearsal that goes over and over and over again. And the way you practice is the way it will show up in a meet, okay? And so we can take some really good lessons from Phelps. We can take some great lessons from Katie Ledecky. And of course, just to bring this full circle, we take some great lessons from Sergio Garcia, who had one of the greatest wins in the Masters tournament, uh, the Masters golf tournament um, in history. And it was really cool to see. So uh, great to see you guys who have uh, tuned in. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, swimmers, keep up the good work. Set your mind on those things that you want to you want to do this season. Practice those habits. Be tough. Uh, have fun. Uh, make sure you ask your coaches for feedback. And have a great season. All right, over and out. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.